Hey guys, this is Todd Smith and I'm back with another video. This video is going to focus on the new update for the Beep Street Xeon. I've already made two videos on this iOS synth. One's a first impression and the second one shows some custom sounds that I'm creating. Both those videos can be found via links in the video description below. Now in the first impression, I said this thing sounds amazing and it's up there with one of my favorite sounding iOS synths. I felt it was missing some MIDI settings to truly launch it and make it become a monster on the iOS system. Well, Beep Street made a new update. Let's take a look at the list of things that they brought to Xeon. As you can see the list here, the things that stand out right away to me were the MIDI Learn, MIDI Settings, Support for MIDI Program Changes, which is really nice, and Sequence Accepts External MIDI Events. Those were the main things I thought this thing was missing, and the dev brought all those on this update. Awesome. Scrollable and resizable keyboards. Knobs will react to horizontal movements. Easier bank importing and bug fixes. And I experienced zero bugs so far, so the fact that they fixed more is pretty cool. Now, in my last video, I said that a feature that was missing was able to export sounds, and that actually wasn't 100% true. I messed up on that one. You have to have email assigned to your iPad in order for that to work. If you don't have email assigned to your iPad, then you will not be able to export your sounds. Now let's look at the MIDI learn function, because that was one of the first things I thought you really needed to start pulling this thing into studios. You can bring up the MIDI learn by hitting tools, then hit MIDI learn at the bottom. And this screen is pretty similar to every other MIDI learn that you've ever seen. At that point, you choose the parameter you want to manipulate and slide the knob or slider that you want to assign it to. I'll do this for two. Then you quit by hitting tools again. And at that point, it, the screen reacts perfect to your control on your hardware. That's really important. I'm glad they brought that in because now this is going to really allow me to open up and have full control over the Xeon with my controller. The next thing that wouldn't work is I wasn't able to hit keys and input notes into the sequencer. That should be pretty easy. I should just have to arm the sequencer and hit a key which it now input the note before it didn't do that. Let's try a chord and see if it takes multiple keys. Yes, it did. It took the whole chord. So with those two things alone have really opened this up into a professional level iOS synthesizer in my eyes. If you haven't got it yet and you have a good iPad, I recommend you go get it. If you want to hear this thing in action, feel free to check my custom sound video. Link is in the video description below. If you really like those sounds, I'm actually selling all my presets. For a dollar a month on Patreon, you can have access to all my presets. I release presets weekly, and about 10 to 20 a week, for various iOS and hardware synthesizers. I plan to have 120 Xeon presets done when I'm finished. Well guys, that's all. I'm really happy and I want to say thank you to the devs of Xeon for pushing out this update really quickly and completely almost polishing off this iOS app and turning Beep Street Xeon into an absolute powerhouse in the iOS universe. If you like this type of video, subscribe. I'm going to be doing a lot more iOS hardware. I do live jams and tutorials. I'm working on my fourth album. Very busy channel. So thank you very much, YouTube. Have a great day.